Okay, so in the area of data mashup and data access and wrangling, uh, uh, the case study I've chosen is, is with uh, Hess. This is a uh, global independent um, leading energy company who've embraced uh, Spotfire across, um, across many use cases. I uh, want to just show you the type of usage that they have. Um, this, is a, this is a tree map of all the analysis files in their Spotfire library, sized by the number of users. So the lower right, these are dashboards and analyses that are being created by somebody and often just used by themselves, or maybe shared with their That's colleague. That's usable. <laughs> shared with their colleague. So this is really the self-service uh, type of uh, use case. Uh, and then as a dashboard or analysis gets popular, you see the size grows, the number of users grow, and, and uh, this is a hybrid self-service, uh, but also governed uh, deployment. So IT gets involved as an analysis starts to get popular, and they, they tune it, they make it uh, you know, fast and, and, and uh, governed and, and pushed out to, to people who need to see it rather than those who don't, don't need to see it in a, in a kind of performant is, is way. There, is there also, we're going to get to monitoring, but monitoring falls into this spot as well. There are so many reports that were done once and nobody ever looks at them. Is, can you say, look, nobody's ever using these tools? Yeah, yes, it's built into the system. Yeah, yeah. And, and we use Spotfire for that, of course. Of you know, course you I do. Mean, <laughs> we take all of the, the usage logs and we, and we have predefined um, monitoring dashboards, both from a utilization point of view and also from a sort of technical operations uh, performance of the system. Is it something, I'm sorry, I'm doing two things at once. Can you automatically get rid of the, the reports? No, you don't want to do that. We, we, have a, we have a dashboard that IT will run against the library and against the logs to do that and then selectively manage the deployment. Uh, so it's an IT governance function. We're not talking about governance right now on the IT side. Mm, we'll talk right. about that a little bit later on. We're talking about you know, the, the community and the data wrangling and, and how they, we've moved from a self-service to a a governed uh, situation, but there are some capabilities that you can put a little time bomb on a report that says mm -hmm. if it's never used, delete it in three months, just get rid of it. Yeah. Do you have that? We as could well, set something or? like that up, but it's not something. But it's that not an automatic. You wouldn't automatically. I can't put a that. time bomb yeah, on, a, yeah. on a report. Yeah. Okay. But there's, you know, there's uh, RESTful APIs for the server, so that's something that you could call from some, you know other kind of, you, you might have data maintenance um, rules around, you know, kind of legal retention rules and that sort of thing, and, yeah. and all of the hooks are there to, to implement to that, what but I it's, not, it's not yeah, a sort yeah, of built-in yeah. function. Interesting. Okay, uh, by thanks. the way, uh, beautiful, gracious uh, decline of level of detail as you go to the lower oh, right. Thanks. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, uh, that, that, <laughs> that requires a little smarts. Yeah, yeah, sure thing, sure thing. Yeah, so interesting deployment. There's about 1,400 analyses in this library, and you can see that gradation from you know, single-user self-service up to multi-user shared environment. And, uh, well, I'll show you how IT gets involved in that spectrum. But first, let me get into some of the topic here. Uh, the one of the interesting parts about this deployment uh, is the number of data sources involved. Uh, there's, there's a data lake, there's a bunch of relational sources, there's data coming from the field, there's data you know, internally. It's quite a significant uh, set of data assets that the company has. Uh, safety and environment is the first use case that, I, that I'm covering here. Uh, this is a ubiquitous one. Um, the company prides themselves on their safety record. Uh, they track incidents and prevent incidents. Uh, data are coming from all the field operations and they, they analyze those and report those. And so it's one of the popular analyses in that top left-hand corner. It's got a big size on the tree map uh, because the company has really, really embraced it uh, to the point actually that uh, people's bonuses depend on it. So a very popular analysis. Uh, the production manager, this is, this is the uh, integration to kind of end all integrations because this is data from their entire field operation. Uh, combines data um, on all the assets, uh, well performance, production, uh, forecasting, you know, this is refreshed on a, on a regular basis with, you know, they're, they're very big in the Barkin in North Dakota. So it's all the data coming in from that, those field operations blended with, uh, you know, the financials and the regulatory data to give a holistic asset view on, on, all of the, on all of the business. So lots of data wrangling going on in that one. And then finally, this exception-based surveillance where uh, they have uh, embedded the spot fire analysis into a, into a portal uh, through our you know, JavaScript mashup API, and they can now look at the different wells in the, in the region, the different uh, trucks and, and uh, uh, operators and, and maintenance crews that they have there, and they can track that uh, on a, a cl close to real-time basis in the field uh, with, you know, with refresh at least, uh, giving them a view on exceptions and thresholds um, before there's a problem. 
and they're able to integrate uh, workflows and data from a variety of sources for that as well. So it's the it's the equipment data, um, you know, it's the personnel data, uh, and integrating those data together. So this is a, a company that has lots of data from different sources, uh, and they're using a lot of the methods that, that Brad uh, showed there for data wrangling and bringing those together. Uh, and then I mentioned they're on this journey from uh, uh, from business in green here, self-service, uh, which typically uh, when somebody wants to use the software, they, they go install the software, they start building prototypes, you know, saving their work, some of those little squares. Uh, and then as the analysis starts to get popular, IT gets involved, they start to optimize queries, apply security, best practices, uh, governance, uh, manage the deployment to make sure the mission critical reports are refreshed and available to the people that need to see them on, a, on an ongoing basis. So this is more SLA in the yellow here. Uh, SLA is around the, around the analyses, um, query optimization, security, best practices, authorization, that sort of thing. So the business self-service in green, uh, the, uh, the governed uh, you know, in, in yellow, uh, they built a um, center of excellence on the IT side to, to, to implement that process. And some of the things you mentioned about you know, retiring old reports or that are not used, there's tools on our administrator desk that, allow, that give you that visibility into the library and manage your users, you know, quickly uh, apply permissions, uh, optimize queries, and so on. So that's the journey that, that, that Hess has been on with us. Uh, we're going to, I think, take a break and come back with the data science part. But yeah, I want to make one more comment on data wrangling, because there was a question that I, didn't, that I realized I didn't come back to address. And that is that this analysis, this kind of combined asset of data prep and analysis, just because it's easy to use and visual doesn't mean it's not pro operational, you know, op productizable, if you will. That application contains the data pipeline. I can save that application into the Spotfire library, you know, and then I can, we have something called automation services where I can schedule that thing to run and it can either feed a Spotfire application or it can actually push data out into other systems. So, you know, just because it's pretty and, you know, just because it's easy to use doesn't mean it's not serious and professional. I just want to make that comment that it's not only for self-service. You can also scale up the use of that application as a pipeline and provision data on an ongoing day-in, day-out basis.